Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for the first time I have a proper display uh, I don't know, I, I like how it looks so maybe this is what my background for my video is gonna be from now on So you might see this picture here It says design the next fantastic plastic and it's a contest that Funko did a few months ago where uh, technically it's open to US residents only but basically you create your own character that Funko will include in their line of fantastic plastics some of them are Popo, Findu Chomp, Bone Daddy, T-Bone those I think those are all the yeah those are the only ones I have so far but there's a lot there's a lot of fantastic plastics Th those are Funko's original characters like way back before pop like were they called wacky wobblers like the first line of products Funko made was their own original characters called back then it was spastic plastic but recently they changed it to fantastic plastic and I never noticed when the changes happened but yeah early this year they made a contest. I actually entered, even though I'm not el el eligible to enter. It's this one, the pineapple pizza delivery girl. Clearly, I didn't win, but the winner, well, yeah, did I mention it? The winner would get their entry turned into an actual pop. And here it is. It's Bat Boy. And I'm, I'm so excited to unbox this and take a look at it. I haven't, I picked it up this morning. I haven't, uh, I have looked at it, I haven't unboxed it for real. So this is gonna be my actual reaction to seeing all the details of Bat Boy. So, uh, Bat Boy was made by Tanner Hedges, aka at popfanboy on Instagram. Like, his entry was one of the earliest entries I saw when I was looking for my competition. Like, the moment I saw the original Bat Boy post that design, I said, Oh, crap, this guy's gonna win. Like, hands down, I knew Bat Boy was gonna win. So, yeah, I'm so happy for Tanner and I'm so excited to open this. So, yeah, let's actually unbox. No, wait, let's look at the box. So first, yeah, it's a Funko Shop exclusive and it has another sticker that says Design the next Fantastic Plastic winner, which is nice. I like the sticker. The back, do I read the whole thing at the back? That's what it says at the back. Anyway, at the back, it's his inspiration for how he came up with Bat Boy. And yeah, let's actually unbox. Okay, right off the bat, boy, uh, the design, the sculpting is really good, and I say that about every single pop, but it's true, okay? So, uh, let's start with the helmet, I guess. Okay, first of all, I know very little about baseball, so I'm just vaguely describing what I see here, okay? So, the helmet is very nice, very smooth. I like the logo, ears, bat-like. I like the face, cause there's a lot of cause uh, fantastic plastics are more expressive than the rest of the pops. You no, know, you you got that little tufts of fur there. You got the cheek chewing the bubble gum. His fangs are not just painted on, like, and the smile, they're sculpted. Uh, the nose. Yeah, pretty cute. The wings, they, they look like a bat's wing. I'm really bad at describing this. Everything looks really good. Like the uniform, you can see that it's like a bit puffy. And there are lines. Should I call them lines? I'm not talking about the stripes, okay? I'm just talking about the lines and how like the clothes fold and wrinkle. It's white, so you can't really see. You can kind of see it there at the back. Oh, and his, his elbows have little tufts of fur. Ooh, the shoes. Well, let's jump to the shoes. I guess those are spikes at the bottom of his shoes. Which is nice, because most, most Funkos have, like, just flat bottom feet. I don't know. I don't have any other sports pops, so I can't say if 
other athletic shoes have details at the bottom. I mean, the shoes itself... Oh, I, I guess this one, the one with the red, those are socks. Like, long socks. I'm, I assume this is like proper baseball attire. I mean, this is like a really bad review. Anyway, sculpting and design is very good. Oh, I, did I talk about the bat? Yeah, it's... It's a bat. Yeah, but one tiny, tiny nitpicky detail. Like, in, in Tanner's original post, in the original design, it says like, the bat has two, like those vampire, when a vampire bites into you, those bite holes, like the bat is supposed to have those bite holes. I guess they removed it from the final design, but I mean, it's still okay. I'm just nitpicking at this point, but yeah, sculpting overall very good. But I gotta say that the paint job is just, this is the end of my video. The paint job is not the best because my bat boy's eyes aren't actually aligned in the circles where the eyes are supposed to be and the inside of his nostrils aren't properly colored in. Mm, the stripes, okay here back here there's some of the stripes are like blurred or like faded. But it's at the back so people won't really see it. The, the shoes, the, the gray part here. It's not like a clean line, it's a, some of the gray like bleeds into the white. Uh, the shoelaces, the, the shoelaces are supposed to be like that shade of blue, but mm, it's also not within, within the part where the laces are sculpted. Oh yeah, and here, the, uh, or the edge where the helmet meets the face. Like, the blue paint is like, yeah, it's bleeding onto the gray. And the inside of the ears aren't fully painted either, so... Oh yeah, and like the bottom, where the head is glued to the circular thing, uh, you can see the glue. And it's yellowish glue. And of course, you know, uh, these are masks. Like, the paint job isn't hand-painted, so obviously you can't do things perfectly. And, I mean, so, there's a, there are a lot of pops that have really, really good paint jobs, even if there are a lot of small details. This one's largely, like, big flat surfaces, and, I mean, it's, I guess it's the factory's fault, right? It's a, it's a really good pop, but, and sometimes during my reviews, I try to be really nice, and I, like, cut out a lot of the parts where I... I'm complaining about the paint job, but like Fungo has improved so much with their design and their sculpting. I mean, their paint job has been consistently bad since the beginning. I don't know. Can't the like the painting machine improve or something? I don't know. This part might get cut out because it's too negative, and I try to make my reviews as positive to neutral at most, but. Yeah, I have so many butts in this video. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm still really happy with Bat Boy, and I'm so glad that I have a Bat Boy. And also, thank you for uh, thank thanks to Funko for making the design your Fantastic Classic contest to showcase the talent of the fanatics. And I don't know, this is gonna be one of my favorite pops now. I don't know where I'm gonna display it somewhere out of box because I love it so much but yeah I hope Funko makes more contests in the future and I hope that they, the contest will be open to every fanatic around the world <laughs> so more people get a chance to make stuff but yeah this is the end of my video I hope you enjoyed it Thanks for watching, see you next month.